The Yankee Fork Valley has seen some major changes over the past 200 years. In the 1800s and for centuries before, Shoshone and Bannock people hunted salmon in the river. In the late 1800s, miners panned for gold, and in the mid-1900s, a floating gold dredge left much of the valley bottom laid out in windrows of exposed gravel called dredge tailings. The Yankee Fork River, unearthed from its historic location and left to its own devices, found the path of least resistance between the dredge tailings and the mountain. The river remained in this path, which produces very little fish habitat, for over 70 years. In the late 1900s, the J.R. Simplot Company, who owned much of the dredge property, began removing tailings from the Yankee Fork Valley near the historic town of Bonanza. Several groups and agencies working on fish recovery in the Yankee Fork Basin recognized these efforts and shared the vision of stream and valley recovery. Plans were developed to implement a stream and valley restoration project that included a concession to defer valley-wide restoration in favor of leaving some dredge tailings in place for historic reasons. In 2018, the project involved removal of 125,000 cubic yards of dredge tailings some of which were crushed so the Custer County Road and Bridge Department could use them to improve the Yankee Fork Road. Dredge tailings were also used to restore an upland area adjacent to the project. In 2019, channel segments containing fish habitat were constructed in the newly cleared valley bottom. And in 2020, the new channel was completed and connected. In high floodplain areas, where natural sediment deposition would take much more time, fine material harvested at the upland restoration area was spread and organic material shown to be absent from the fine material and needed to produce robust vegetative growth was also spread. Flood channels were created containing simulated relic beaver dams, which help pool overland flow so sediment carried by the water during high flow can be deposited on the floodplain, replacing finds lost during dredging and giving vegetation places to become established. The stream channel within the project area is expected to experience low and or intermittent flows during late fall and winter until the finds, mobilized and lost during dredging, are replaced by natural events. During this time, project managers will assist fish with their regular migration patterns as needed. It will take several years for the restored Yankee Fork in its valley to fully recover. However, this project created conditions that make recovery possible. Therefore, stream processes, including fish habitat creation, should occur faster in the future than they have during the recent past.